Hey folks, Daily Lance Blog for October the 30th, 2018. What did you just say before we came on, Case? I said I don't like it. Yeah, and what don't you like? My dog being dead. I know, we miss Brando. It's hard, you know. It's, uh, you know, I'm really cautious about throwing it out there uh, because um, so many people who, who might watch this Lance blog maybe have lost someone to suicide and it's important not to equate a dog and a person um, and they're not equally tragic but it's just so hard you end up loving them so much and there's no reason why you love your dog that much right you used to say all the time what case he's useless he doesn't do anything but you love them and you can't explain why and then when they die you miss them so much and you can't really explain why either anyway I'm off topic just wanted to say that Brando come back to us not going to happen. Uh, today, I want to ask you a question, and I want your help. I uh, had a great conversation with a, a psychiatrist today. Not a psychiatrist treating me, okay? I'm not seeing a psychiatrist, just so you know, okay? That's weird. <laughs> well, I was just kind of making a point, right? Showing how stupid that is and how people do see that as being like, we can't tell anyone. And it still pisses me off that psychiatrists don't have waiting rooms, that they have an entry and an exit so two people don't have to cross paths. I think that feeds into the stigma. But I was talking to my new psychiatrist friend today, and we were talking about what could we do together that would really make a difference in people's lives. And the two or three questions that I get asked the most, one of them is always, what can I do to be a better caregiver? How can I help my husband or my wife or my son or my my daughter or my cousin or my friend or my co-worker or somebody in my life. And I don't have a lot of really good answers for that. I have a couple, but I want your help. How can you, as somebody who's been suffering from mental health challenges, whatever they are, how can um, someone that cares about you offer you help? What can they do? What can the caregiver do? It's incredibly difficult because everything is counterintuitive, right? You, you think that what you should be doing uh, and you go do it and then you find out it's absolutely wrong. It's like, no, 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 don't talk to me like that. Don't tell me that we should do that. You don't understand, but we have to help people understand. So list for me something that you think, or, or two or three things, but at least one thing that as a mental health sufferer, you have received from somebody that you feel like that was good. Okay, because we'll put them all together and then maybe um, we'll, we'll tie them all together in a couple of different ways. Me and Case were talking about these ways, weren't we, weren't we Case? We were. We were. SickNoteWeek.com, 24 hours a day, 364 days a year. We're here because you need to know. I'm not seeing a psychiatrist, okay? I'm not, I'm not crazy. I'm, 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 I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, goodbye.